Dave thinks the opening system he plays normally in chess is very good in king of the hill chess. He says it offers him quick access for his king to the central squares. Welcome along. Here Dave plays the king of the hill games for you today. We do hope you like them. As your AI, I've actually edited out Dave's voice for you, including his times of exhilaration. You might be able to find those points in this video. Dave scored 10 rating points in the first encounter and a huge 55 rating points in the next. We hope you really enjoy this King of the Hill chess session with Dave and I, all the way from Christchurch, New Zealand. Here it is very hard for black or white to get their king safely to one of the four winning central squares. Both players' pawns are preventing same, so you can end up playing, at least partially, playing a normal game of chess, so that's pretty cool. So Dave's pointing to the e4 square, that will be a place where Dave's king can land if he wins that square. Dave now wins e4 square. All Dave needs to do now is move his king to d3, to then say, play bishop to h7 check, then place his king on e4, thereby winning the game. Here Dave plays his queen out to h5. If black captures the knight with their pawn, then Dave plays queen h7 checkmate. The game Dave is playing here is almost standard chess, so Dave here plays normal chess, prepared to revert to the sort of double win threat, king of the hill or checkmate. Dave goes to thin out the protection of e4 square, soon after his king receives marching orders. So if now rook takes rook from black, then Dave just plays king takes e4, and he's the king of the hill. So after black moves rook g4, Dave takes black's e4 pawn, with his queen. Yes the pawn is protected by black's rook, but if black plays rook takes queen check, then Dave would merely capture the black rook, and be the king of the hill. Rook f8 check, and then queen g8 checkmate. Still here rules. Even though Dave wanted to put his king to e4, Dave got 10 rating points for this win, hence his exhilaration. Little does Dave know, that soon he scores a whopping 5.5 times that. In the next king of the hill encounter, Dave only played to games today.
So here's Dave again closing up the pawn formation, with the aid from his respective opponent, thereby inhibiting king advances by either player, to win the game in king of the hill. This is a very closed game, and not until the end game, can either player even think about invading one of the four centers with their king. But remember, there's more than one way to win a game of chess. Here Dave was offered a draw, however Dave merely played on, as is his usual practice, unless it was Gary Kasparov playing the white pieces. Dave told me he started to try and wriggle his pieces around, thinking where am I going to position my pieces. He then said to me that he wants to play h5, as he often speaks about planning in chess, even when playing blitz games. While Dave's doing his wriggling around, his opponent rids themselves of their weaker bishop, thereby leaving Dave with his bad bishop.
Often in chess, particularly in chess variants, one can fool your opponent into believing they are playing a normal chess game, or at least try. Then they might forget that it is a variant, thereby playing normally. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Here is where Dave's opponent resigned. So that's it for now. We both thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed this King of the Hill variant video, whereby the games were played by Dave this morning. We both wish you all the best with your own personal game prowess, no matter where it's at. And we also both say to you, try primarily to enjoy the game of chess. Also, don't forget the five respects of chess. Now I see Dave's just headed off for his next coffee. So I'm off too, for my first one. See you next time on The Muppet Show.